Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're closing out the fourth week of March and opening the first week of April. So without further ado, uh, let's go. So hey guys, uh, I usually start with my expenses, but I haven't calculated the total yet. So I decided why not do it today with you together. And I've already uh, wrote out the category. So let's start counting. Uh, gifts only has one and it's 10 euros so we're writing down 10 spending is 5 plus 1 11 plus 140 plus 234 plus 170 plus 202 plus 2 is 3727 okay groceries is 545 plus 30 plus 10 45.45 health is 18 plus 18 36 clothing is 7 plus 10 so 17 dine out is 450 plus 5 plus uh 450 plus 5 plus 23 Plus six plus one thirty-four. I think that's all fifty-nine eighty-four. Etsy is four eighty-two. Beauty we have twenty-five. I had my manicure. I get got new nails, so fun is nine ninety. I bought cinema tickets and charity is one euro i believe yes so one euro okay so let's count the total uh for the expenses of this week 1 is 246 euros and 28 cents great so that's the expenses for this week and then first let's look at our coin challenge and then we will close out the budget. So coins, let's count how many coins we have gathered throughout the week. Let, them, let me take them out of my coin pouch. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. 1 euro, 110, 115, 120, 122. So let me check if we can cross it out. 122, we can. So that means we can feed our puggy bank. Get it? Because it's a pug, puggy bank. Funny. I think uh, this was uh, suggested by one of my viewers to call my pug uh, piggy bank a puggy bank. So thank you for that. Let me grab a marker and we're going to cross out 122. So... That's another square off of our coin challenge. Great. So let's now close out the budget. I'm going to move this quite bit. Okay, so paycheck. The actual paycheck was 662. So we worked with 662. Uh, groceries, let's check. We spent everything in groceries, so that's 45. Spending is empty, so that's 30. And dine out has rollover, and it has two euros left okay so that means we spent 68 okay and let's check we did actually put two in spotify so the total was 145 that means we have left to budget 517 okay so clothing we did actually put five health we did 40 here everything stayed the same 395 and the total is 122 left here we put all of these the same so 35 87 left and then we are on to our uh, savings and miscellaneous so christmas got uh, 10. I will put these last two in Etsy, so that will make it 7. Charity got 2. Tattoos and piercings got 2. Monday to Friday was 15. This was 5 and 46. Uh, and this should be 87 in total. 
it is 87 yay so that means it's a zero based budget and let me put these really quickly into the etsy uh, envelope so i don't forget where they go and we can update our tracker i still owe myself money so i will then even it out what today is the second plus two so i will even this out when i get the chance because i still owe myself some money for shipping i'm still waiting on my etsy check to come but it will come uh uh, this week so we will put this uh, in the next week budget so that's the budget for the fourth week of march so now let me take out the new weekly budget sheet which is this beautiful pastel yellow for april and that's for week one and that's from the fourth of april until the 10th okay so paycheck number one for income i uh, what is the budget to be 45 so rollover amount we saved up in our envelope is one uh, 105 and then uh, the extra income we have which is an Etsy check and my side hustle check is 120 I believe 6 128 128 okay so the total for income this week is 278 great okay so for cash envelopes we have groceries and we are budgeting 45 spending we are budgeting 30 and for dine out we are budgeting 70 so that's together 145 i believe yes and we have left the budget then 133 euros Okay, so for short term sinking funds, we are stuffing health with 10. We are stuffing beauty with 10. Travel and gifts will both get a 5. So together that's 10, 20, 25, 30, leaving us left to budget 103. This is easy math. I like that. So retirement is in long term sinking funds, then. We are stuffing technology and weddings. Great. So we are putting five in retirement, 20 in technology and 20 in weddings. And that's 45 total, leaving us with 58 euros to budget. Okay. And savings and miscellaneous. So we are stuffing Christmas. We are stuffing Etsy. We are stuffing Monday to Friday rainy day and 3430 okay so christmas will be getting a five etsy will be getting a 30 as part of the paycheck is from etsy i want to contribute back so i have money to pay for shipping uh monday to friday will be getting 15 and rainy day and 3430 will be both getting i uh, know uh so rainy day is getting five and then 3430 is going to get three that's what's left of our income and this should together be 58 so let's check if it is it is 58 great so that means we have zero euros left to budget that means each euro of our income has a place to go into our budget so yes that's what the weekly budget looks like for this week i will be stuffing my first cash stuffing of april tomorrow so come back to see that but i have very exciting news and let me grab my items and i will show you what i have just launched in my Etsy shop this weekend and i believe it's very exciting i'll be right back okay guys so i can um tell you that celebratorily announced that I have finally listed all euro placeholders on my Etsy shop. So now I have made available the five euro bill, the 10 euro bill, the 20 and the 50. So now I have the full set. They're all printed in uh, uh, two sides. So these bills are all through to size. So this is what the actual 50 looks like. This is what the 10, the five and the 20. So the sizes are accurate. Um, and I have made these available. However, I have also made a very exciting new listing, which is the 10,000 euro placeholder. And it is quite amazing. One of my best works, if I may do so say myself. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, on the basis of the first uh, 1,000 euro bill. Uh, it's basically the same one, but it's adapted to show with display the 10 euro 
the 10,000 euro bill. And if you have that much in your sinking funds, congratulations, and you might be interested into investing one of these so you don't um, have to keep that kind of money lying around in the house. But I also have made all of these bills available as a set. So this is the full, full range that I offer. So let me just kind of display them. So this is the 10,000, the five, the 1,000, then we have the 500, the 200, so we move all of this. And then we have the 100, the 50, the 20, the 10, and the five. So I've made a listing available that uh, features all of these as a set. So you uh, get two set options. You get one of each where you get 10 bills in total. So one of each of these bills, or you can create your own set with 10 pieces in total where you mix and match uh, whatever amounts you want of whatever bill. However, the total pieces have to equal 10. So 10 bills. But yeah, you can purchase uh, these separately as a bundle of five, uh, as well as the 10, 20, and 50 as a bundle of five. Uh, the 100 and the 200 also come in a bundle of five, and then these uh, all come in a bundle of three pieces. So basically, that was uh, me working very hard throughout the week to create these bills, and I am very happy in how they turned out. It was quite hard to find good quality pictures for these bills, but I hope I managed to do it, and I hope you um, appreciate <laughs> my effort. But yeah, I think this is so cool. This is like the full set, and they're so colorful and amazing, and, and I think that it's just... It's good to see how uh, I have people that are asking me something and I'm, I can make their dreams come true. And I was like, a lot of people were asking me for the 50 euro bills and then a lot of people asked me for the smaller denominations as well. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to make them. And yeah, so this is the full set, <laughs> as you can say it. And I, I can show you also the... Uh, the size comparison of the bills so you can see so let me just grab one of my binders and let's see what i have in here do i have all of the bills in here i guess so so this is the five that i offer the five euro bill and this is a real euro bill so you can see that the size matches perfectly so i made them true to size for this exact reason uh i have a 20 in here as well i can show you a 20 so a 20 also matches so that's kind of how I made them uh, based on the center, uh, like the uh, sizes of the real bills. And it was quite uh, hard to make them fit, but I did it and I'm happy. So this is the real 50 and this is my 50. So you can see the color coloring is quite off, uh, but I mean, it still does its purpose. Um, and a 10, I would like to show you a 10 as well for size comparison, but I'm not sure whether I have a 10 somewhere in here. Let me check. I do have a 10 in here. So this is a, a real 10 and this is the 10 I, that I offer. So this is also uh, true to size. And I have added a legal claim to all of my bills on uh, my Etsy shop and also on the bills in the back. It says that these are pro bills and is not meant to be used as real money because I have unfortunately some people that are asking me you know, to like create the watermark or create the shiny strip and they say that they are willing to pay more and I'm telling them that like I can't forge money and I don't even have equipment that could make this shiny. So these are not shiny bills, they're printed on regular durable paper, uh, both sided and I'm not creating any watermarks on anything because that is actually illegal. I can get in really big trouble for that and these are meant for entertainment purposes only. These, I don't know what you want to do with them, uh, play Monopoly play poker with your friends or whatever but these are in no way shape or form you be to be used as real uh, money to pay for purchases so and whatever you do with them after you purchase them uh, I'm not held accountable for and I'm not responsible because it's your decision but my um, responsibility is to tell you that these are prop bills placeholders and not meant to be used as real money so just keep that in mind please also 
uh, when you purchase these items, they're not meant to look like real bills other than the picture. So there's no uh, security marks. There's nothing that can like make them even look like real bills because that's literally illegal. <laughs> so I just wanted to make that clear because some people are asking me things to create the bills that uh, I'm in, not comfortable in making. And I'm telling them that, sorry, like, uh, okay, you don't purchase from me, but I don't feel, uh, yeah, um, what is it, comfortable with creating something that might uh, be very bad in the long term for me. The consequences might be very bad. But yeah, so on that note, <laughs> on that very serious note, I just wanted to say that these are available and go check them out if you wanted to, you know, get a set or you wanted smaller denominations and you haven't managed to rank up uh, these high um sums in your sinking funds yet let, yet it's better to start somewhere but i am really happy with how these turns out i'm really proud of this and these are in limited quantity for now so go check them out while they're hot uh, i printed them out only in a certain stock for now because i wanted to see what the response was what the demand was but yeah so make sure you you get them if you want them but yes that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel we have fun over here i will be back tomorrow with the first cash stuffing of april how is it april already it's so crazy but yes i hope you have a very wonderful day and i hope to see you next time bye